Hi everyone, I'm Thibaut Saunier. I am mostly a jet streamer, uh, developer, and hacker, and I'm uh, developing WebRTC supporting WebKit GTK and WPE. Um, this talk is going to be like an update of what is happening in, in there. So, first, a, a short history of uh, what happened in the WebRTC support in WebKit with GTK. So we used to have an open WebRTC based backend, which is an Ericsson implementation of the WebRTC protocol. Um, so we, we had something more or less working, but it has never been really stable. And uh, in 2016, Apple developed a LibWebRTC based uh, backend. So LibWebRTC is the Google implementation of the WebRTC protocol, which is used basically by uh, each and every um, web browsers, so it's used in Chrome, it's used in Firefox, it's used basically everywhere. Um, and in 2017, so last year, uh, Ericsson stopped developing the OpenWebRTC project, so we decided to just remove it, and uh, basically we, we lost all the support of uh, WebRTC inside the WebKit GTK and uh, WP ports of WebKit. So we decided. Hello. The laptop is working very well. I think. Sorry. So, yeah, we started, with, we decided to just go with a LibWebRTC based implementation and uh, for the network part and just remove for the media processing, basically. Uh, it's not only the network part, I mean, it's basically the network part, but it's like a big part of, uh, of the, the spec where all the, the peer connection implementations in, is inside LibWebRTC. I will explain a bit better. So uh, why LibWebRTC? Basically because it's mature, stable, feature complete, it has all the spec is basically implemented in LibWebRTC and it's mainly the only implementer of the specification, um, feature complete and it's very active, so Google is developing it all the time. Uh, and we had the opportunity of reusing what Apple had done for the implementation, so we didn't have to, to rebuild everything. Even if big parts were already developed uh, thanks to the previous OpenWorldTC based backend. But yeah, that brings a lot of, I mean, less, uh, less, much less work to do for the implementation. And why just remember on the other end? Basically, we target uh, embedded platforms with WPE. And JStreamer brings in like integration with hardware on many of those platforms, if not all of them. So just leveraging uh, in hardware integration through JStreamer for, for encoding, decoding, etc., uh, is a big advantage. And so we wanted to make sure that we use that. Also, the thing is that uh, those ports, so WebKit, JTK, and WPP, use JStreamer for all the media processing. So we just like grab the streams from LibreWTC and pass them to JStreamer, trying to reuse the exact same code path as, uh, as uh, the rest of the multimedia stack inside WebKit. And the thing is that uh, upstream JStreamer, we are developing a WebRTC bin, which is basically a peer connection implementation. So maybe in the long term, once it's stabilized and feature complete, we can make use of everything we have developed as part of that project, uh, but replacing the LibWebRTC part with, uh, with WebRTC bin. So that opens that door also, which is nice. Um, so we had a few APIs to implement for, for that. Basically, numeric devices, which is an API to just list all the devices, so microphones, and cameras, um, 
that is done thanks to a, a GStream API, which is a just the device monitor, basically. Then get you the media, that's where you basically retrieve the media stream. Uh, so you get, you get the camera stream, or you can get the stream from a canvas inside the, a web page. And uh, then you can uh, send that through the RTCP connection, which is basically the, the core of WebRTC itself, where, where the negotiations about how the stream will, will be set up uh, for, for basically video conferencing. Um, so basically, that part is where LibWebRTC is used, and uh, and that's the big part of uh, of uh, the implementation. Um, okay, so I I just uh, draw a little of, um, data flow diagram where I explain how we did that. So basically, the WebRTC is for the peer connections, and then we have uh, the decoders are inside JStream, are using JStream decoders, and then we pass that through the media stream, which is a, a C++ object inside WebKit, and then uh, that stream, so the data stream of the encoded uh, frames are going directly into the JStream pipeline, where we develop the JStream uh, media stream source, which basically is just a stream element inside the pipeline that uh, listens to the, to the media stream object and just pass the frames through the JStream pipeline. And then we just reuse the exact same player and everything as, as, a, as, any, um, as any video elements inside, the, inside WebKit. On the other side, we have so the stream capture source, so that's going to be an audio source or a video source where we have we basically uh, have a JStream element that grabs the microphone stream or the, or the video camera and then we pass that through a media stream which will just go there so through the back into the JStream uh, into the media player JStream pipeline and uh, be decoded and displayed locally or you can go through the real out, uh, real time outgoing source, then through an encoder, which is another JStream pipeline that will um, grab the frames, pass them to an app source, go through the encoding process, and then output them to LibreTC. To LibreTC. So at that point, it just go into LibreTC and it does the the pre connection work for us. Um, so that's basically how the, the data flow happens. Um, so what is what are we missing and what are we going to work on in the future? So more, stabili more stabilization. Uh, currently, we basically have simple application, WebRTC application working, video conferencing like Apple.tc and things like that work. Uh, we have most of the layout tests um, that are inside WebKit are enabled, like 150 tests, something like that. They are passing web few regressions lately, but they used to pass. And yeah, most of them do. Um, and a big focus of us is uh, optimizing for embedded platforms. So uh, having in mind the WAP use case, uh, we are working like targeting primarily um, the Raspberry Pi, where we have a few demos and uh, its simple use cases work there. Um, we still need to optimize it in some places, making sure that the, the zero copy uh, code passes work in the, uh, on Raspberry Pi. We, we, we try to design everything so that we can avoid mem copy as much as possible and we are not far from having like zero mem copy all around the, pi the pipeline. Um, we have a few missing APIs, but not so many. So basically, we are missing uh, canvas capturing. And, um, and uh, audio, uh, web audio uh, bridging, basically. But yeah, most, like most important parts are, are there. 
and uh, yeah, we need to enable WebRTC on release builds, but then for the uh, distribution use case, we have issues with licensing because of uh, the fact that uh, the WebRTC basically brings in Bring SSL, and then we have licensing issues. I don't remember the details, but the, the, the <laughs> basically we won't be able to, to uh, distribute that in, on standard Linux distributions. Uh, for Epiphany, so we have to think about what we will do, and maybe at that point we were also thinking about just using the the JStreamer implementation of WebRTC, which is getting better and better. So that's also something that we might do in the future. Um, and do you have any questions? Yes. So is Safari using WebRTC as well? Yeah. Yeah. Can you go back to the first slide? Um, so you optimize on the devices. Uh, it seems that it's more clear in codecs. So which codecs are you targeting? Well, the ones that are that have our acceleration on the platforms that <laughs> exist. So basically, on Raspberry Pi, it will be H.264 only, because there is no encoder for VP8 there. But then on other platforms, it might be different. So that's dependent on the platform. And uh, also, uh, so two, two things. Um, we said you we work on H.264 simulcast support in WebKit. Uh, of course, uh, MacPort, it should be uh, very similar to what we need to actually handle this for you. So it's, it's great for uh, multi video conference on the basis. Uh, and the second thing is, uh, enable we see on these builds, uh, please not right now. <laughs> uh, we don't have really yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so for the next release, hopefully we will be able to. Yeah. Uh, Web people currently is migrating from Dynamic to Dynamic. Uh, the, the API is evolving. Um, we hope that everything will be uh, good so that we will be closer to the stack and Firefox. Yeah. Uh, and it's um, very understandable right now. Yeah. But it's not ready yet, so don't worry. <laughs> Any other question? Thank you.